Now, if you're like me and you get a 3D printer and you either can't fit it in your room or you don't want to breathe in the fumes or it's just too loud, then printing outside is actually a pretty good option. So this printer is about oh, one, two, three meters from the edge. So when it starts to rain, the wind isn't going to push it too far and it only comes about halfway. So this thing has actually gone through epic thunderstorms like gale force winds, hurricane type of scenarios where wind and rain is just absolutely pelting down here. And uh, it's A-OK. -okay. It still prints happily as long as I put this lid down, zip it up, then it's good. Now I've printed PLA and ABS that, uh, and it prints absolutely fine. Uh, ABS was something that I was concerned about because I was thinking, hmm, it's very temperature sensitive, maybe it's not going to work. But as soon as you put this lid down, zip it up, um, the temperature regulates itself quite nicely and the prints come out looking great. Now I've had this printer here for about six months uh, toward the back end of winter, all through summer and uh, in various different temperatures that have uh, varied from 5 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Fahrenheit to about 35 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if that's an exact uh, <laughs> conversion, but around that. So if you have an outdoor balcony and you don't have enough room in your apartment to put your printer, then put it outside.